Hello, I believe I've come to the point in my life where I can consider myself pretty darn British. I know I'm American. I'm pretty American. I still eat way too many burgers that's healthy. But I unironically said the word cheers to someone yesterday and I looked around like, did you guys hear me say it? I'm one of you now. I want to prove to you just how British I am by completing the British tag. You can do it at home, see how British you are. It was started by the YouTuber Beauty Crush, so thank you very much to her for starting it. And without further ado, let's get to the questions. Question number one, how many cups of tea do you have per day and how many sugars do you use? I only have about one cup of tea every other day because I'm not a big fan of caffeine, so come on, cut me some slack. I do make sure to put one and a half little scoops of sugar in there. I literally measure out half of a teaspoon and I always make sure to have the milk in first. Just like ever. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's insanity. Ah! It, um, I'm, I'm Question sorry. number two. What's your favorite part of the roast? Roast potatoes, man. Especially if they're cooked the right way. Like, oh man. Also, squash. Butternut squash with some brown sugar on there. It just, oh man. Completes the meal so much. It's the closest thing I can get to Thanksgiving dinner. You know, with the yams. Question number three. What's your favorite dunking biscuit? My favorite dunking biscuit is a milk chocolate digestive. It was one of the first things I tried when moving here was just dipping a milk chocolate digestive in tea and oh my gosh, I've experienced heaven. And you know what? Digestives don't taste half as good without the tea. With that dunk, you've just melted the chocolate and made it the perfect consistency and it's amazing. But also, there's a close tie with straw waffle, which is a Dutch biscuit, I know, but if you let that thing sit on a hot cup of tea, the insides get melted and then the caramel just, oh. Question number four, favorite quintessentially British pastime? This is gonna sound silly. I know I moved here and made fun of people for doing it, but talking about the weather, I cannot help it. When it is beautiful out in London, everyone is like a cartoon character, just like walking around smiling, riding their bikes, and everyone's happy and it's great. And then as soon as a drop of rain hits, it's like, oh, just a bit of rain, really. Question number five, what's your favorite word? Petrichor. If you don't know what that means, I'm about to blow your mind. You probably love it too. It's the smell of fresh rain on the dry earth. Oh my gosh, I love petrichor so much. The word and everything and just... Oh, it just reminds me of the smell of fresh rain, and I love that. There I go again, talking about the weather. Do you know any Cockney rhyming slang? Yes, I made a video called How to Speak Cockney Rhyming Slang like two years ago with my friend Beckon. It was really funny and I learned a whole lot, so now I can just go up to someone and be like, Oh yeah, my skin and blister gave me a loaf of bread. No. Oh god. No, that's not- I use the same thing. I- okay, so obviously I haven't learned a lot, but I know what they mean. Skin and blister, sister, loaf of bread, head, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Question number seven, what is your favorite sweet? Personally, I love crunchies because you can't get them in the US and that was one of the coolest things. I was like, what is a crunchy? The honeycomb inside is so good and there's nothing like that in the US. So it's such a new delicious taste. Also Cadbury's with Oreo. That's my like, if it was in America, that's all I would eat. Question number eight, if you had a pub, what would you name it? It would be a crime-themed pub, and it would be called Mug Shots, because you're drinking out of mugs, or taking shots, and it's some mug shot. No. <laughs> so Number one British person. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but it's a cross between Zo Sug and the Queen. I, I just can't, I can't decide. God save the Queen. Zo Sug. I, I, I just can't, I can't choose, really. Favorite shop slash restaurant. I really like Top Man. I love that I moved here and found that cool British clothing shop and saw a lot of shirts that I genuinely liked and purchased, so probably Top Man. What British song pops in your head right now? Oh, 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 you don't know you're beautiful. I'm sorry, that's literally it. I think British songs and I think One Direction and I don't not like them, ironically. I like One Direction. Their new album has some tunes on it. Or, as British people would say, some tunes. Yeah, blend in, yeah, uh, yeah. What was that? And question number 12, Marmite? I think this overlaid clip of me trying Marmite for the first time with my friend Dodie will explain the answer to that question a bit. No, 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 never. I Marmite try it again. <laughs> No, I won't. I won't ever try Marmite ever again. Seems I've oh. reached the end of my tea and the tag video. Thanks for watching. I hope I passed the British tag test. Do you think I'm British enough now? Is my British accent that offensive? Yes? Oh god, it is? Oh, sorry. I try so hard. Anyway, I do make new videos on this channel every Sunday, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, I'm tagging my name's Che, Cherry Wallace, and Donald will do this tag because they're actually British and they'll totally win. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. I just spilled tea all over my pants. And by pants, I mean British pants. Cause I'm not wearing, I did it!
I said British pants on the Super